day seven of math. Here's our math riddle for today from the Grapes of Math. Large pizza to go. Do you suppose that's from Fat Lorenzo's? Mama Mia pizza pie. How many mushrooms do you spy? Please don't count them. It's so too slow. This hot pie was made to go. But let me give you some advice. Just do half and count it twice. Okay. So three, six, nine, twelve. And there are four slices here and four slices here. And there are three slices on each one. So if this side has 12, this side has 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. Or I could do 3 times 8 is 24. <clears throat> Yesterday we did 5 o'clock. And the book skips six o'clock, which is the big hand on the 12 and the little hand on the six, and it goes to seven o'clock. Five o'clock, we talked about dinner time. Seven o'clock. Time to say goodbye. What a busy day. Soon it will be bedtime. Good night, little rabbits. Good night. What time do you get ready for bed? What is the last thing you do before you go to sleep? And there's 7 o'clock on a digital clock and 7 o'clock on a regular clock. First time book. We went through all the numbers. Because when we do time, we do the same group of numbers twice every day. 12 o'clock. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, and then it's either midnight or noon, and we do all the numbers over again. First book of time. <clears throat> the last thing we talked about is how money got its name. It's a Latin word, M-O-N-E-T-A, mon moneta, which is a name given to the place in ancient Rome where money was first made and stored. <clears throat> what is the lightest and the heaviest money ever used? The lightest money ever was used on the Pacific Island of Santa Cruz. This money was made of feathers. The heaviest money ever used was made of stone and used by the people of another Pacific island called Gap. Those stones were 12 feet tall and weighed more than 500 pounds. Don't think I'd either want to carry feathers or a 500 pound stone. What's the smallest money ever used? Oblaeus, a type of money that was used in Greece, was smaller than an apple seed. And people used to carry oblaeus in their mouth so they wouldn't lose them and hope that no one would sneeze or swallow. Four things that made metal money a bestseller. One, it was easy to carry no matter where you were. Two, it didn't wear out. Three, there was a limited supply. It didn't grow in trees, but there was still enough so it wouldn't run out. Four, it could be changed when and if you wanted. One coin could have one value stamped on another coin another. Old money could also be melted down to make new money. Hey, this stuff is handy. Sorry, guys. Grandma's got a frog in her throat this morning. We did the Icky Bug Counting Book today. This is the Icky Book Numbers. One, two, three. By Jerry Pilato. Illustrated by David Bladarski and Rob Bolster. We had two people helping them on this. That's interesting. Zero. One. One, what is that bug? You guys know that one. 
Yep, it's an ant. Learn about numbers in Icky Bugs 2. The first number is zero. There are no Icky Bugs on the red zero. The next number is one, and there's one black ant walking on the orange number one. Count it. One. Two. Three. Two pretty blue butterflies who under the yellow number three. Count them. One, two. And there are two yellow balls that are sitting on the purple. One, two blue butterflies. One, two, three. Three moths. Ooh. Four green caterpillars on the blue four. One, two, three, four. Five. Yep, this flies. Just in case I was wrong. One, two, three, four, five yellow flies on the big green five. Six beetles scurry on the purple number seven, and seven spiders tiptoe on the light green seven. Let's see if we can count them. Six beetles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spiders, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight ladybugs on the number eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine shield beetles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, nine shield beetles on yellow shield beetles on the yellow nine. Ten dragonflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One spider, two moths, three beetles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All on one page. Lots of counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. We even did it backwards. <coughs> oh, everybody's all mixed up. It's not the same kind of thing, but even though they're mixed up, <coughs> there's the right number of bugs on the right numbers. How about that? Let's play another game. Can you find a beetle with two feathery antenna and a dragonfly with four wings? All right. Can you find the feathery antenna beetle and the dragonfly with four wings? I think there's the ones we're talking about. Now, can you look for a moth with six ovals and a spider with eight legs and a ladybird beetle or a ladybug beetle with ten spots? Did you find the ladybug? What about the moth with all the ovals and the spider with eight legs? Can you find an icky bug with one very long skinny body and a bee with three yellow stripes? Did you find them? There's the fuzzy bee. Only, only bug I see with a long skinny body is still the dragonfly. That's pretty cool. Can you find a beetle with five green stripes and a ladybug with seven spots and a beetle with nine yellow triangles on its body? Whoa.
You see the beetle with all the triangles? The ladybug. And a beetle with five. Oh, look at the striped beetle. That's pretty cool. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty beetles. You can skip count and count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. That's even skip counting. The other day when we read the ocean book, we did skip counting with odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. And when we skip count with odd numbers, we can't make equal piles. But when you skip count by twos, the piles come out in even numbers. Oh, it says skip count the odd numbers. We already did that. Grandma skipped ahead. <gasps> Ooh, can we count by groups of three? Three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. It's not as easy to do that. <clears throat> 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 4 plus 4 is 8. When we say plus, we're doing addition. Zero plus zero still makes zero. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus one is four. So I did math with them next to each other and I can put them on the numbers on top of each other and I still get the same answer. It doesn't matter where they go sideways or up and down. I still get the same answer. Four, three plus one is four. Four plus one is five. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Four plus four is eight. And five plus five is ten. So many bugs. Bugs and spiders. Ooh, subtracting. 7 minus 2 when the spiders catch them is 5. And 3 minus 1 is 2. And 4 minus 3 is 1. Hey, we can count by tens. Up to 100. We can count by tens. Ready, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We can count by tens up to 100. We can count by tens. Ready, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. Hundred. Good icky bug counting. We hope you enjoy the icky bugs and all the icky numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which one is your favorite? We did the snake book the other day, long, longer, longest. Now we're going to do the shark books, big, bigger, biggest, because we're comparing things. And math does a lot of comparing. Fish are animals that live underwater. 
Fish breathe with their gills, and they have fins that propel and guide them through the water. This is a book about a certain type of fish called sharks. Sharks live in the ocean and eat meat. That means they're carnivores. Their skeletons are made of cartilage, not bones like other types of fish. The shark on this page is a Caribbean reef shark. Which sharks are big, bigger, and biggest? Well, let's go skin diving and scuba diving and do some comparisons. So that's a Caribbean reef shark. I don't think I'd want to meet one of him. Whoa! Look at that big shark. The whale shark is the biggest fish and, it, and the biggest shark in the ocean. It grows to be 60 feet long and weighs 20 tons. A ton is 2,000 pounds. So 20 times 2 would be 40,000 pounds. Don't be afraid. It only has tiny teeth. A whale shark is gentle and harmless. I still wouldn't want to meet one. Unless it accidentally whacks you with its gigantic tail. The smallest shark in the ocean is the dwarf dark shark. It only grows to be 10 inches long. That's small enough to hold in your hands. So there's the biggest one. And look way down here. There's the tiny dog shark. Whale shark. Biggest. Dog shark. Smallest. I only have two comparisons there because there's only two animals. <coughs> in math, we have two symbols. If the arrow goes to this way, it's pointing to the smaller item, and the bigger mouth open is pointing to the bigger number. So if the mouth side is on this side, we say it's greater than. If the mouth is on this side and the point is pointing the other way, we say it's less than. Greater than, less than. Big, bigger, biggest. In this book, we're going to look at differences between sharks. All at the same time, we'll learn about two math terms, greater than and less than. The term greater than is shown like this. In the size, the whale shark is greater than the dwarf dog shark. Skin diver, watch out. There's a blue shark behind you. <clears throat> Small, smaller, smallest. The term less than is shown like this with the mouth the other way. In size, the dwarf shark is less than the other shark. It's the smallest shark. Scuba diver, look behind you. There's a tiger shark. <coughs> Those are kind of pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These numbers are on order from the smallest to the largest. There are 10 Port Jackson sharks. They have sharp teeth in the front of their mouths and dull grinding type teeth in the back. That's because they crush and eat clams, mussels, and urchins. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. There are five zebra sharks. The number of Port Jackson sharks is greater than the number of zebra sharks. Ten is greater than five. Ten is greater than five. Ten Port Jackson sharks, five zebra sharks. And one adult zebra shark has spots like a leopard. For young zebra sharks, pups are striped like a zebra. One is less than four. Oh! So when I was counting, I was counting the zebra ones, one, two, three, four, but the mama one looks more like a leopard. So she's five, the fifth zebra shark, even though she looks different. One mama shark is less than the five baby sharks. It's a shark. No, it's a dolphin. They're sharks. No, there's dolphins. There are more dolphin fins seen here than shark fins. Six is greater than four. It's shown like this. How can you tell the difference between dolphins and sharks when they're in the water? Dolphins and other sea mammals have flat horizontal tails. A shark's tail is upright or vertical. When swimming level with the surface, a shark's tail might stick out of the water. But a dolphin's tail usually stays below the surface. Well, that's a good thing to know.
sharks and dolphins. Da -da. <coughs> da -da. That's a big shark. Great, greater, greatest. Here's one great white shark. <coughs> He's pretty terrible looking. Great whites are the most famous sharks in the world. They are movie stars. Great whites usually swim and hunt all alone. People rarely see them in nature. That's good. I don't want to see one. Spiny dogfish are very common sharks. They swim in large schools. Fishermen consider them easy to catch. Some people call them hounds. One great white shark is less than the 15 stray dogfish. Fifteen is greater than one. One is less than ten. These are the gills that the fish breathe through. This is a close-up of a sand tiger shark gill slits. <clears throat> Sharks breathe by getting oxygen from the water that flows through their gills. Most sharks have five gill slits on each side of their head. One, two, three, four, five. This cow shark has six on each side of its head. Six gill slits is greater than five. Or we could say five gill slits is less than six. Guess what a seven gill shark has? Seven gills. Six is greater than five. Five is less than six. <coughs> Ooh. Graceful cat shark. Here are the parts of the shark. Nose, eyes, mouth, gills, Pectoral fin, dorsal fin, second dorsal fin, tail, anal fin, pelvic fin. Dorsal is on the top. That's interesting. All the parts of a shark. Most adult sharks do not sleep. They've been in Earth since it was born. That's sometimes, I think, even before dinosaurs. Except since God created all the animals on the same day, that wouldn't be true. Shark skin is really rough, like sandpaper. The skin does not have scales like other fish. Instead, it has denticles, or little tiny teeth. How about that? <coughs> that looks like an iceberg. And there's the beach. Cold, colder, coldest. The Greenland shark is a huge Arctic Ocean shark. It prefers to swim in near freezing water temperatures around 34 degrees. Ooh. 34 degrees Fahrenheit or 1 degree Celsius. Humans would only last about 5 minutes in water that cold. <coughs> Warm, warmer, warmest. The white tip reef shark likes tropical marine water that is closer to 80 degrees Fahrenheit to warm. Let's go swimming. That temperature is like bath water. 34 degrees is less than 80 degrees. One degree is less than 27 degrees Celsius. 34 is less than 80. One is less than 27. Deep, deeper, deepest. Sharks leave at different depths. The Portuguese shark has been found at depths of up to 12,000 feet. That's more than two miles deep. The Portuguese shark dives deeper than any other shark. Shallow, shallow, or shallowest. Lemon sharks stay in as little as three feet of water. You can walk out to a lemon shark in the ocean. But that's not a good idea. They bite. The Portuguese shark dives deeper than the lemon shark. 12,000 feet is greater than 3 feet.
fast, faster, fastest. Mako sharks swim at about 22 miles per hour, though some scientists believe they can reach a speed of 50 miles per hour. The Mako shark is the fastest of all sharks. Slow, slower, slowest. The nurse shark sits on the sea bottom and swims slowly about two miles per hour. Ready, set, go. The Mako shark would easily win in a race. 22 miles per hour is greater than two miles per hour. That's some ugly teeth. Hey, you've seen that picture before when we talked about some of the sharks where they scoop through the water and glean the shrimp out of it, the water. Now it's time to pretend you're a dentist. Okay, sand shark, open wide. Look, no cavities. Sharks have multiple rows of teeth. If a shark's tooth becomes loose or breaks, another tooth moves into its place. Humans only do that once, and then you have to get dentures. There are basking sharks that are the second largest fish in the ocean. Don't be afraid. They're not interested in biting you. Basking sharks have tiny teeth. They eat by swimming with their mouth wide open. They filter out tiny sea creatures called plankton with their gill rakers. <coughs> Weird, weirder, weirdest. Cookie cutter sharks have a row of round of sharp teeth. A round row of sharp teeth. They bite cookie chunk size things, bites out of dolphin and other fish. Cookie cutters do not shed one tooth at a time. They shed an entire row. So that's their round teeth. That's fun. Here's the shark in the great white. And here's the megalodon shark. It's a big tooth. <clears throat> the great white shark, sharp, sharper, sharpest, has the largest teeth of the sharks in this book. The larger fossil tooth is from the extinct megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived. Some sharks lose as many as 30,000 teeth through their lifetime. Humans can lose 52 teeth, including baby and grown-up teeth. 30,000 is greater than 52. Ooh, there's the hammerhead shark. His eyes are out here on the tips. It's pretty weird looking. Unusual. More unusual, most unusual. Hammerhead sharks are easy to recognize. They have an unusual head. No other animal has one like it. Winghead shark might be a better name. The eyeballs of the hammerhead shark can be as much as three feet apart. Unequal is another math term we can learn. It is shown like this. Two lines, parallel lines with a cross between it. Looks like an equal sign with a something that says no. <coughs> the smaller, rounder head of a bonnet head shark is unequal in size to the head of the great hammer hard shark. Do you think a bonnet head shark is cute, cuter, or cutest? Dangerous, more dangerous, most dangerous. The bullhead shark is considered one of the most dangerous sharks. It does attack human. All sharks swim in the ocean, but bullhead sharks like to sneak up river into fresh water. They have been found 2,000 miles up the Amazon River and 1,000 miles to Iowa in the Mississippi River. Hey, men's going the opposite way. Sharks go up from Louisiana... Then is going down from the top. Long, longer, longest. The thresher shark is the longest shark, but it does not have the longest tail. A thresher shark tail is the same length as its body. Its length, the tail equals the body. Maybe it's a strange, stranger, strangest of all the sharks. <coughs> equal, greater than, less than, not equal. Oh, that's a weird shark. Here is a saw shark. It has teeth on the outside of its mouth. 
sharks, big, bigger, biggest. 